Now, Abuja residents have expressed mixed reactions over the death by hanging judgment passed on husband killer Miriam Sander, while some said Mrs. Sander deserves the sentence handed down by Justice Yusuf Halidu of the Abuja High Court. Others think consideration should have been given to her two-year-old child who was born during the three-year uh, trial. And joining us again live in the studio is a social commentator, Annie Huvi Ayeni. Good to have you this morning. Good morning, Maka. Thank you. Now, I'm sure you've watched that story. You've watched the report. You know the story. How, how do you respond, first of all, before we ask you further questions? Well, it's, it, it's very emotional. There are no winners in this case. The family of the boy, does, the, there's no win for them. The family of the girl, there is no win. Mm -hmm. The children, there is no win. For the rest of their lives, they'll live with it. Unfortunately, for every action we take, there are consequences. And this is what comes with action. Mm -hmm. We, as human beings, need to remember that we live in society. In society, there are laws that we need to abide by. Now, there are, there are cultural laws and there is the government law. This, she has fallen into the place of government law having to take its cause. Mm. It's not the fault of anyone. There's nobody to be blamed. So whether I like it or not, it doesn't matter. It is the government law. I finished school at the age of 25. I need to do youth service. That is what goes in Nigeria. If at the age of 50, I want a position. If I've not, if I've not done youth service, I don't qualify. You have killed somebody. There is a mother there that is mourning the death of her son. There is a father that is grieving the death of his son. He will have had dreams for this boy when he was born. And unfortunately, her own mother is also. Now, if the tables were turned, for those who say it is wrong, her mother, I'm sure, would have done anything to destroy the person that destroys her child. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this has happened. Now, it also calls for the fact that we need to look at some of the trajectories of behavior that we can look at in this case and address it mm -hmm. as a community, as a nation. There, maybe there are cases of mental breakdown. Maybe there were cases of domestic violence. But then in the case of domestic violence, um, I don't know what she was not bruised. Mm. She was not stabbed. There is no physical evidence on her to show that the guy actually did anything to her to have provoked him being stabbed. Mm -hmm. So you can and see- stabbed severally. And stabbed severally. You can see the premeditation here. This incident happened. His friends are taking him away and said, don't go home today. Mm -hmm. She said, no, leave him, let him come home. Everything is okay. The next, you kill the boy, call the family, they cover it up. Mm -hmm. There is a family out there that you are telling that this is what you decided to do with their son. Mm -hmm. They are not going to sit down and just watch it that way. I, if anyone has had a situation where you have had a loved one killed in this, in this manner, you will, nobody will want that, nobody will want the person who did it to just go away for free. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying whether she should be hanged or whether she should be shot or anything. Yeah, it does not bring the boy back. However, the law needs to take its course. Mm -hmm. If we want to have honor and regard for the fact that we live in a law-abiding society. And whether, we, whether people say yes or they say no, whether they hate Nigeria or they don't, we live in a law-abiding society. Mm -hmm. When things happen, the consequences follow. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a follow-up question to that. Even in uh, the, one of the responses we had there, you know, people are saying, well, this, she should be considered because uh, she's a mother, because she's has, uh, she has a two-year-old uh, uh, child. Is that, is that a justification? Is that enough? because she has a child is there enough reason why you know she should be let go so to speak you know? we see when when by um, horrible incidents like this happen there are always casualties if if she was traveling on the road with her husband in a car they were coming from somewhere and unfortunately a wreck happens mm -hmm. the parents die and the baby leaves the baby will still be cared for her daughter the reality is her daughter will be cared for mm -hmm. because her own mom is alive and I think his own mother is alive. Mm -hmm. However, we live in Nigeria where we grew up in, in a communal way. Whether you say you have one, a man and his wife, it is not just you. Mm -hmm. There is family attached. The, ch the daughter will be taken care of. What I, would, what I would say, in the case of the child being taken care of now, we will still see what happens at the end of this because there's a lot of buzz mm. around about the fact that she should be... Maybe we'll see what happens, but that child should, while she's growing up, she should be protected. Mm -hmm. Mentally, she needs to go through mental 
um, counseling, mental, they need to watch how she grows up mm -hmm. because she's going this is going to play in her head for the rest of her life mm -hmm. how she grows up is what is what matters that the child should be there are consequences to every action and i'm sure the child will be taken care of mm -hmm. thank you so very much for bringing this fresh perspective to the matter also